I like the way you work it. No diggity. Hi there, and welcome to the BaseNZ.com gear guide. My name is Matt. Today we're going to talk about a snowboard boot fitting. Now, when you're looking to upgrade your boots, or get a brand new pair of boots you've never had before, it's really important that you go and get your boots fitted by a snowboard boot fitting professional. Um, they're going to have all the skills necessary to get the boots fitting right. When you go into the shop to get your boots fitted, give yourself a bit of time. It's going to take 45 minutes to an hour to get it right, so it's not a five minute sort of job. It's not like buying a shoe. A uh, snowboard boot is not like a shoe. Uh, you don't snowboard in your shoes, so don't expect to be able to fit them in the same way. Uh, when we get to the process of fitting your boots, first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the length of your foot. So it's not going to be the same as wearing a shoe where you can wear you know, a 10 if you're a 9 or whatever. We're going to measure it in Mondo Point, which is centimetre measurement. That way we're going to get a really accurate gauge of how big your foot is. Once we've measured your foot, what we're going to do is do a foot examination. What that's going to do is allow us to look at the shape of your foot. What we're looking for there is the width, forefoot, height of your instep, shape of the heel and ankle to make sure that we're matching up one of these boots, which are all different shapes to the shape of your foot. These aren't all uniform, neither are people's feet, so it's important to match them up together. Once we've done the foot examination, we're going to have to do a little biomechanical assessment. This is where we're going to look at your foot flexing and moving, as you would when you snowboard, because you don't just stand still, uh, and see how your foot changes shape as you flex. It's really important that we do this, because uh, essentially if you're changing shape every time you flex your foot, um, you're going to get quite a bit of movement inside the boot. Um, what we're looking for there is whether your foot pronates, which is rolls to the inside, this is really common, most people do that, or supination, which is rolling to the outside. Not so common, but some people do it. Um, to help with this, we look at something like custom foot beds. Now, your next step is, we're gonna, before we even pull out a boot, is we're going to ask you a bunch of questions. We want to know where you go right, what you do when you go right, how good you are, how big you are. We want to know how much force is going to go through that boot. That way we're going to pick the right boot for you so you get a boot that's going to fit well and last a long time and work for you when you go up on the hill. Now once we've asked you all those questions, we're going to grab some boots, bring them out, then we're going to do a shell check. Shell check, very important. You can take the liner out of the boot, put your foot in just the shell, get your foot to the front of the boot, flexing forward and see how much room is between your heel and the back of the boot. What we're looking for is about two fingers width. This is going to allow enough room for the liner at each end and your socks so you've got a nice snug fit. That way we know we've got the right boot for you, so we've got the right shell. Once we've done a shell check, then we look at uh, getting you in a couple of pairs of boots, making sure we get the right one. We have one on one foot, a different boot on the other, working out which one's the right one. And we're not going to go through every boot in the shop. It's way too many. We're just going to go the ones that are the right shape. Your boot fitter will know the different shapes of boots that we have and they'll pick the ones that match the shape of your foot. Now, if you're someone who pronates or supinates, which for anyone who snowboards, something we're always going to recommend is custom footbeds. The footbeds you're going to get in your snowboard boots, they're going to be flat. They're going to be pretty boring, they're not going to do a whole lot for you, they're made for the average foot, which there isn't such a thing. A custom footbed is going to be moulded to the shape of your foot, it's your foot that it reflects. What that's going to do is give you excellent control. It's going to support your whole body weight across your whole foot instead of just in three points. It's going to increase blood flow, give you better precision, better control, better performance, and especially more comfort, which everybody wants. The next step is making sure you've got the right socks. Here's a little myth we're going to bust here. Wearing really thick socks or two pairs of socks, it's not going to make your feet warmer. If anything, it's probably going to make it worse. If you think you need that, it's probably because your boots don't fit you very well. A good fitting boot will keep your feet warm with a thin sock. So you don't want super thin, but you want a reasonably thin and comfortable sock. A good technical ski sock, ski or snowboard, doesn't matter, but a ski sock will work for snowboarding. It's going to have a bit of protection in the shin, a bit of padding in the toe and the heel, and that's it. It's going to stop getting bunching and make, give you a perfect fit with your uh, custom footbed. And next step, which is what most new boots have, is a custom molded liner. Now, most of the boots, almost everything that we sell, has a heat moldable liner. What we do is put the liner in an oven or a special blower, heats it up, the liner goes real soft and mushy, put it back in the boot, put it on your foot, and it'll take the shape of your foot that way you can custom fit, really, really good for comfort and performance. Now, once we've done that, then we have a look at uh, women's. Now, women's are going to have a slightly different fit. Or everything I've just talked about applies to women as well. Women's boots are slightly different. Uh, generally, women have a longer calf muscle, which sits wider lower, so most uh, women's snowboard boots are cut lower at the back to allow for that. 
plus they're on a women's last. They're narrow around the heel and the ankle um, and narrow at the forefoot. Um, they all come in different shapes though, so we can match you up no matter what your shape is. Now, one thing to look at in especially a lot of the newer boots is different lacing systems. Um, we've got stuff like the boa lacing system, the dial works very well, lots of different speed lacing ones and traditional ones. Um, it just depends on what boot fits your foot. So I wouldn't go, hey, I've got to have boa, I've got to have speed lace, go for the boot that fits your foot. That's the most important thing. Now, once you've got all that sorted, you've been through the process, it may take a couple of visits to get your boots just right. It may not happen first go. At base, we guarantee the fit, so if you have to come back, we do all kinds of tricks to make the boots fit really well, and it's all included in the price of the boot. So, um, what we're looking for, lots of questions about what you do, proper foot exam, proper shell check, and trying on a couple of pairs of boots, but letting the boot fitter pick the right ones for you. And that's pretty much all you need to know about snowboard boot fitting. So if you need some boots, check us out online or in store. BaseNZ.com, good stuff online all the time. Peace. I like the way you work, kid. No digging.